Hello, this is William Michael of the Classical Liberal Arts Academy. I want to talk a little bit today, it's November 7th, about live classes which are going to be expanding uh, because I'd like to see families in the Classical Liberal Arts Academy make good use of these classes. Uh, as of today, I'm offering uh, five live classes at 1 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time. Uh, these are free live classes. They're open to all students, regardless of uh, whatever level of enrollment a student may uh, be subscribed to. It's, it's irrelevant. They're open to all students. And these live classes are really an important part of what we're offering in the academy. They serve a very important role, and they help students in uh, important ways that they're, they're not going to uh, be able to receive from uh, private online studies of, of online courses. All of our content of our lessons, all of the lesson content, all of the study materials, all of the assessments, and so on, all of those things are provided to the students in their online courses. And it's all individualized, it's all self-paced, and so on. Students can work and master the content of their lessons, uh, develop and demonstrate their mastery, and they can do so at their own pace. All of that, like I said, is included in the online course lessons. But there's a lot more that they need than just that simple, you know, clear content of the lessons. They also need to integrate all their studies together. They also need to become uh, comfortable with the, the intellectual culture that, that they need to cultivate through classical Catholic studies. It's good for them to meet uh, other students who are working in the same courses. Um, and it's good for us just to be able to discuss their studies, reflect on their studies, talk about the application of their studies in their lives, talk about future plans, uh, just give opportunity for discussion of questions the students have and so on. It allows us to, to really go beyond anything that can be included in an online course. And it makes it much more personal and interactive, which is really good for the kids. I, I think it provides a really essential benefit to classical Catholic studies in the academy that they're just not going to get by studying privately online. So my intention for these live classes is not that they replace online studies, not that they replace private studies, but that these, these live classes actually enrich and expand their studies. Sorry, we've got some cows lowing over here. But that these, these classes expand uh, what they're learning in those courses, allow them to think about it, talk about it, ask questions about it, reflect on it, apply it, and so on, um, which really improves their appreciation for the courses and their understanding of those courses in, in the bigger context of Catholic life. So that's the purpose of these live online classes. And as I said, <coughs> I would really like to see as many students as possible um, get into these live classes because I think they're really valuable. It also is a strength of mine. You know, I was uh, a, a very successful classroom teacher before I established the Classical Liberal Arts Academy. I taught a classics department at a school where parents were paying almost $20,000 a year for tuition. And I had great relationships with the students. I know that I helped the students. I could motivate the students, inspire the students a bit. Um, and I'd like to offer that to our students uh, who are working as homeschool students online. So it's a, it's a strength of our program. It's, it's one of my strengths as a teacher. And I'd like to make sure as many students as possible uh, enjoy the benefit of these live classes. They don't cost anything. They're available to all students, and as I said, they're just intended to help students in their overall studies. Any students are welcome to attend any of the live classes, um, and I'd like to see them doing so. Furthermore, my wife is also going to be uh, offering some live classes. Uh, she's going to be offering live classes at different times than mine will be available. 
She's going to be offering more elementary level classes for younger students in courses like Catechism, uh, Catholic Bible, Elementary Grammar, uh, probably some elementary mathematics and so on. So there's also going to be some more opportunity for younger students uh, with my wife. But I'm going to be continuing the courses, the live classes that I'm teaching right now. Uh, on Mondays, I teach Sacred Scripture. On Tuesdays, it's Aesop's Fables. On Wednesdays, we, we discuss Latin studies. On Thursdays, it's Greek studies. And then on Friday, we have a fun live class that's called uh, Writing, Reasoning, and Rhetoric, which teaches the students uh, how, to, how, to, how to argue, how to, how to debate, and, and use disputations and things like that to develop their essay writing skills. So that's on Fridays. In addition to those existing live classes, uh, I'm going to be adding more classes. We're going to study the Summa Theologica together. Uh, I'm going to offer a live class on classical philosophy. Uh, I'm also going to do world history. I'm, I'm going to do American history and government, and then probably get into modern science and maybe some mathematics. Um, but there's going to be more live classes to really fill out the, 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 the curriculum. And all of these live classes are recorded, so, so students can watch them at any time. They can re-watch them at any time. Um, but I, I really would like the kids to attend if possible because the interaction, that you know, real-time thinking and discussing, answering questions, and so it's really good for the kids. And I would like to see them given the opportunity to do that. Um, it, it's, it's very private and uh, you know, it's, it's nothing you have to worry about as a parent. It's not like we're flipping on cameras and microphones in the middle of your house. Um, students are welcome to attend the classes. They can leave their cameras and microphones off if they want to. Actually, I never let them turn microphones on. Uh, I'll, be, I'll be doing the talking. I'll be on video for all the students. I ask them questions and discuss things with them, but then I have them use the text chat in the Zoom meeting room to, to give their answers. So, so it's, it's very orderly and respectful. Um, it's not intrusive uh, like, like uh, some live classes can be. I, I keep it simple. Um, kids are not required to participate. I leave it up to the kids to participate as much as they'd like to. So it's very comfortable. And I think overall the, the students enjoy it. So I'm planning to offer more of these live classes in coming months. And just make it a regular part of, uh, of life in the academy. And also in the evenings, I'm probably going to begin offering some live class meetings for um, our higher level courses uh, in the evening. So adults might also be interested in joining us. Um, you know, things like higher level philosophy, theology, um, classical liberal arts, the actual seven liberal arts studies, and so on. So they could also be open to adult students. So that's the plan for live classes. As I said, they're not, they're not required for the use of our pro <coughs> excuse me, for the use of our program, uh, but they're very strongly recommended, and I believe that they will greatly enrich and help students in their classical Catholic studies. So I recommend them to all the students. If you've got any questions about live classes, just get in touch with me. My email is wcm at classicalliberalarts.com. My contact information is located right on the website on the right side of the page. So you can contact me however you'd like. Uh, but if you go on to the main website, um, on the left menu, you'll see a link for live online classes. All of the information for live classes is available on that page. I think if you just go to classicalliberalarts.com backslash live, it will take you to the live class page, so, so try that. But there's a link on the left menu. If you go to that page, you'll see all the information for the times and the classes that are available, which will be updated as I add more. You'll also see all of the, all of the videos, uh, the recorded videos of our class meeting. So, you can check those videos out and see what live classes are like. But I strongly recommend them. I'd like to expand on live classes because I think they're really important for the kids. And uh, I'd like parents to uh, give the kids the opportunity to participate in them. They're free. They're open to all students. It's just a matter of making time and, and being present 
and uh, I hope more students can do that. God bless.